Hello, 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 and welcome to another Rangaroo card to me, Rangaroo. And today we are doing a 1v1 on Fujin Valley. So, on left hand side in blue, playing as Redfall, we got Nort Ray. And on the right hand side in red, playing as, well, Redfall, we got Amamaya Sora. So, let's uh, speed things up and get things going. And away we go. It does seem like Nortray is playing an Eastern Block deck. Royal Ami Ashura going for more of a standard USSR. And both sides are planes off the bat, but two MLs are definitely going to be one MLD, so definitely a good idea getting it out of Dodge. And the MiGs going for a little bit of a helicopter show here. Going for the KF2 just getting the kill and pretty much paying for itself already. We've just got one helicopter kill. And Norta is going to be moving through into Bravo lands and then my 24 Ds into the bottom tower. And the MiG 23 does get shot down by the MiG 25, which is quite funny because that means uh, Sora has two interceptor cards in his deck, so it definitely likes those planes. And the FJB is going to be soon down the MI 8, but it does land before the Strela can hit. But rarely am I going to these, but we're all good. We're going to do damage, dealing with the infantry, and then shooting down the helicopter. And the way it goes. We've got BMDs moving through some BDV support, but the MI 24s can definitely deal with that. The crappy ATGMs and loads of rockets. It does seem like Norse is going to be taking advantage of the bottom aggression as he has by moving through the rock. And some BMP runs, most likely uh, more Tutans inside him. And just going straight for the heart, right into Delta. Gonna be capping that mofo. And up top, things are rather quiet both sides, just capping their retrospective town area with just a few recon. EDP is getting cleared out of the town as the SJBs do take in comfy to their new home. And the more Tutans moving through into the next town and land in some recon guys to our support some special clear rare something leave a German the MiG-21 base flying around trying to find something to rock it but up top story it's not going to be taking that middle offensive lightly moving through some BRD and threes and two Zalos but he's two my 24 ds from North Ray going to be tactically outplaying him with the Ultra Cannons or the Mini Guns, really. They are only lightly armoured. More Tutans aren't going to be holding that ground in the town. Taking shot after shot, the VDV is moving through Delta, trying to retake the point and well, mainly scare away the real because their rocket launchers can do a lot of damage to the Mortutions. Are going to be covering the open array, getting the machine gun fire down onto the exposed VDPs, but make sure everyone coming in for the rocket run. And the MI 24D is going to be cleared up with fast VDPs, and it may be in Sora's best interest to start getting some AA because these MI 24s are proved to be a pain in the butt, MiG 29. Trying to intercept something, but it does fail and does manage to escape, which is the main thing. Big 21 Biss doing a strafing run on the special play, uh, the, the East German recon. Let's just leave it at that. And he's MI 24Ds flying over to VDVs. Gonna get spotted first, and oh, I'm taking an ammo box here. Just flying right over into the enemy AA, the cooler, and Strella, and even scratch it. Get a few shots off. And the MiG-23 ML doing the same thing here. It's going to get intercepted by the Bish and shot down. And Maya or Shora managing to completely capture Foxtrot. Mainly the CV, which is the most important thing. And just as a Spetsnaz grew in the front hand line. Just making sure nothing crazy trying to take his uh, CV out. Well, Spetsnaz grew in Mortutions going at it. Real given, real covering fire. And 
and make 21 bases, rain for something, to row one. Get the infantry and stun another rook, but not doing too much damage. It's a little bit of an audio bug here, which is, well, quite annoying. And we got some Chuckers of Akian reserve infantry here. It's going to get shredded by the beating bees, so they're not going to allow the rook to get some short talk. MLD trying to secure these hinds. The hinds are really on the major threat here from Fall Shore. Again, a CV into Down Terror to definitely give North Ray a plus three point advantage, which will be huge. As he is keeping an offensive on Delta, and by attacking Delta, he doesn't really deny most reinforcements into Fall Shore less so he can. Move through these roads rather safely, but it is more of a pressing concern. And anyway, I don't think Norway really realizes how undefended Foxtrot is. Like, he could literally just move his infantry through the open and pretty much get ya. And the rope killing that strong in a very nice, a very nice position there. And also, from this position, you can shoot most things that try to reinforce into Foxtrot. Because, yeah, it's a Really good clear line of fire. Now things are not looking good for Shora at all. He's lost his Delta point, only has a few units of Fox Shot. And Rail Delta's heavily entrenched Vlog infantry. And a uh, Rilk tank, which is uh, not nice to really deal with. And Shora got an ammo 24 k of his own. Runs, dealing with BTRDs. My trying to get just flying right over. Trying to get a CV sniper into Alpha, it seems. There is only 157.2. Oh, Strello as well. Going to be getting those crazy rocket hit missile hits. Stunning up the MI-24K, but allowing it to return some fire. But the Strella is a bit faster on the draw. And takes victory out. It's going to get bombed by the 29 But it's already done the damage. And it does survive, which is quite fortunate. I hope one or two going for a bit of a gun run there. And then finish off with the bombs. And then Auto A now gaining now very nice little plus run. You'll actually lose that plus one because the Alpha C V just got nuked. But he still had the frontline advantage and really this is the an annoying thing about once you lose Delta. You know, the towns here never really work to your advantage because if you're defending Delta you're gonna be up here. So losing these towns and seeing how it's a very small ridge to go down where you can get rocket launched by just Strow. So in your face, it ain't exactly an easy point to retake. That's also the same with Alpha, because you've got a bigger town here, and if you get some ATGM guys, you pretty much negate this entire open field. Yeah, an Ultra Ray just having the position and that he needs to take the victory here. Three DVs try to contest into the town, but but well, the problem is, is that he is playing USSR and VDVs just don't cut it against small shootings or FJBs. And the CV up top again, sniped down by MI-35. And I have one or two doing the bombing runs. Get a plus three from Norta. And the MiG 29 just dropping in and they pretty much stopping any more pushes coming down that hill. The ASU is definitely giving some very useful fire support. Managing to clear out that town. It was a little bit too LA. Norta A at like a 320 point advantage. 
This is gonna be tough to get back at momentum. And we got oh <laughs> we got some sneaky stuff going on in Echo. Some infantry help in the FOB. Not bad to get the kill though. So at least sword loses her base. Yo, oh, the CV got sniped in Echo. And that's gonna be a good game. Sure, surrendering with only a 500 point kill advantage, which isn't too crazy for run v run, but pretty much not a run that much, but just very good aggressive play. And when playing this map, it is always a good idea to just double or nothing into the enemy home sector. Because even if you don't fully capture it, but keep it neutralized for most of the match, that's a plus two point advantage. And on this map, you don't have many areas to play around with. You have three flanks, each of them with only one capture point. In them, it's only four capture points to capture on the entirety of the match. So going straight for the middle, plus two point, and gaining that huge point advantage early on is always a good idea. And Nautorate has pulled it off well. Very aggressive. Great helicopter player with the MI-24Ds. And now yeah, I think Sora maybe got a bit more AA and a bit more of a better ground force. He might have, you know, be able to hold off. Yeah, it's a soap. And well, I'm going to leave it off at that. This has been another Rangaroo cast. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as usual, please just take it easy.